uh, till now we have completed what is meant by cloud and what is the advantage of cloud uh, what is the purpose we are going into cloud and uh, what are the different services available how the cloud computing works what is meant by data center and what are the different types of cloud available we have completed till this thing and last uh, slide of this presentation is advantage of cloud computing so first point we always used to discuss which is cost saving so when i'm coming to that uh, cloud environment right i no need to uh, purchase any kind of uh, uh, resources okay we have completed uh, up to this much part and uh, this is the advantage of cloud computing which is uh, first point is cost saving cost saving in the sense uh, when i am coming to cloud infra right there is uh, we no need to worry about uh, the thing uh, which is for investment the we why because we are not going to purchase any uh, computing resources and we are not going to purchase any sort of uh, network switches server whatever it may be so everything will be uh, purchased and maintained by the service provider so the thing is we just we are going and requesting any service provider the aws will be giving us the computing resources whenever we require and the second point is scalability and flexibility so when you are launching any server or when you are launching any any sort of networking devices or storages whatever it may be in future if you require for the upgradation okay it's very simple uh, flexibility and scalability is always uh, uh, very simple okay so any time we can scale up our configuration any time we can scale down our configuration it's it's very easy when we are coming to cloud environment okay so and the third point is reliability reliability in the sense uh, when we are maintaining any data center consider and if we are when we are maintaining any data center if any disaster happen it's very difficult to save our data okay nature disaster come any time right we cannot predict it so if any disaster happen it's very difficult to uh, uh, save our data but the thing when we are having our data in cloud the disaster recovery management is very simple that is the n number of technology they are using to save our data our network always will be in functional level okay again okay fine so and the another main advantage is maintenance as i told you before we are not supposed we are not going to maintain any sort of uh, data center hardware components everything will be managed by uh, aws why because consider in my data center in my on premises data center if something happen to any kind of hardware resource what i need to do my engineer will be checking uh, there will be hundreds of server will be there my engineer will be going to the data center you need to find out what is the issue then he will be uh, checking the particular server which is faulty you need to diagnose the issue whether ram got faulty or memory got faulty or this particular network uh, switch outage or network router not responding so any sort of issues may be so you need to find the issue if any hardware hardware problem happen that particular organization has to acquire okay that uh, replacement charges so uh, this is very uh, big uh, thing right so if i go for aws simply uh, they are person always ready for any hardware replacement and if any hardware fa got failure right within 10 to 15 minutes they'll be giving us a new server our server will be getting up and ready but it's not possible in our data center because uh, if, if till that problem fake uh, replacement of that hardware component my server will be in down state only this is the difference between aws data center and our data center and coming to accessibility and accessibility is a very big key point uh, when we are coming to cloud it it's enabling a feature you can access your data center anywhere in the world uh, if simply simply if you have an internet connection you can log into your aws console and you can access your all all the infrastructure components network side or server side or storage perspective or database perspective whatever may be uh, so the thing if we simply having a internet connection you can log in anywhere from the world you can manage your data center and or more uh, if you are managing your data center in your on premises uh, if any problem happen to any of the server that engineer has to come to the data center for troubleshooting a issue uh, if if uh, this cloud is enabled right we can work from home it's possible right if you are if you are serving in your office uh, if you have a cloud access uh, simply from your home you can work it's not mandatory to come office thing likes that okay and productivity uh, productivity in the sense from the organization's perspective if cost is very less and uh, maintenance free and reliable and any time we can scale up to any level of configuration and accessibility is very simple obviously that organization productivity will be increasing okay these are the main advantage which i used to focus every time uh, in cloud okay
Uh, okay guys, uh, so we are keeps talking about AWS. There are some other additional public cloud service provider there. Uh, there are Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud and VMware itself, they are having a vCloud and IBM, they are having their own cloud and Oracle, they are having their own cloud and GoGrid, they are having their own cloud. The only the thing is, uh, first three cloud providers are peak nowadays, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Uh, remaining people are there but the thing is uh, they are not providing up to that much a level of service uh, so what people already uh, engaged with AWS and Azure and Google uh, uh, according to my knowledge it's not possible to bring gear up the remaining uh, cloud provider uh, I hope in near future also they will be a masters AWS Azure and Google Cloud and among these three AWS is the senior most one and this is, this is the reason uh, people uh, who are working in cloud right they are getting more job demand and uh, they are getting more package something like that yeah. and one more thing uh, if you are working in on-premises data center you can notice a network they will be having separate engineer and uh, uh, security they will be having separate engineer and windows they will be having separate engineer and linux they will be having separate engineer database they will be having separate engineer uh, at same way uh, it it is uh, depends right w for managing one organization we are maintaining multiple engineers and what is the cost for each engineer and uh, just uh, minimum if you are paying 20,000 20,000 each monthly it will cost around 1 lakh rupees correct so if you are a cloud person you are a only person has to handle all these things uh, cloud uh, that is why I am telling cloud person will be when the person is completed cloud uh, he will be calling it as a cloud architect the cloud architect has responsible to handle network in cloud and servers in cloud even it may be windows or Linux he has to handle and storage you need to handle and database you need to handle so that is the reason always the person who's working in cloud will be getting more package and uh, in your current project if it is an on-premises uh, just consider if 100 people are working in a single project if it is cloud just 10 people is enough so 10 people if all the resources are hosted in cloud means 10 people is more than enough to handle this project so manpower is reducing from the organization perspective uh, always they will think uh, to reducing the manpower right that is the reason the person who knows cloud he has more demand as well as he getting more salary okay that is the reason